Art fair. We hate art fairs. Lots of people <laughs> hate art fairs. It's a big cliche. We all hate art fairs. All Why do we hate art fairs? Because it's where the sausage is made. It's yeah. not pretty. It's about buying. It's about shopping. They are made for who? For collectors and museum for people. For deep pocketed collectors. We're Absolutely. talking billionaires. So we've decided today to essentially be billionaire art critics for the morning. For the morning. Correct. We've got a motto. And, and, and what is it? With growth wealth comes great responsibility. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to manage to buy better than most billionaires. And be the best billionaires <laughs> in this fair. We're going to be the best billionaires that we can be. So off we go. You bet. Let's okay. do it. You want to go ahead and buy this? I want to buy, I want to buy these. Donald okay. Judd matters too much to me. I don't care if I like them, I don't even have to look at them. I just feel that a serious billionaire has got to have some Donald Judd's okay, well in the that collection. makes some sense to me, yes. It's definitely canonical work. I mean, this, this man is not only sort of a star That's in the- That's mean, canonical work. Wow, you're mean. <laughs> you really thought that was mean? What is the right word? Uh, 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 desire. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Desire, okay. desire is the word. I mean, they work for me. I can't resist them. I cannot resist well, any Donald Judd. that's good to know. Judd. I can. Every interior sort of design store that you walk into is all Donald Judd. Right. Is it going to hold value? So they're going to hold their value aesthetically in the canon of art history. That's for damn sure. Uh, independently of what you are, I think. Well. And they're going to hold their financial I don't know. value. I don't know. Look at Correggio. Great 16th century artist. Sort of has semi-disappeared. He's in the canon. Yeah, you got a point there. But you got a point taste there. taste change. Yeah, you know. Even taste. people like us make mistakes. <laughs> hard to believe. All right, it's hard to believe. But, Speak for yourself. You know. We owe it to ourselves to essentially uh, get at least a couple of these, eh? These are uh, 2,000 year old vases that Ai Weiwei has uh, painted with Mercedes Benz car paint. He's Great a great master of 20th century art, absolutely. we agree. Yeah. Right? Total and agreement. Total billionaire bait, in my opinion, it, for this it, billionaire. It, at least. it is It is billionaire catnip. I love uh, Ai Weiwei's work. Yeah, he's got, he's got genuine political balls. He does, stuff. I think he's probably the only uh, contemporary artist likely to win a Nobel Peace Prize to boot. So yeah. they're total eye candy, and I think that's absolutely great. And eye candy with content is a very special thing. That's a pretty good yeah. definition of good art. Of course, what Ai Weiwei would do with a 2,000-year-old vase is... is He'd pick it up and he'd basically he'd, smash it. He'd pick it up and smash it. How's your insurance today? Uh, well, I'm a billionaire. I've got a lot of insurance, but I'd rather not have the scene. You know what right. I mean? No, I you know. know. It gets, people get so fussy. I think we'd better split the light blue we'll one. Split yeah? that. We'll buy it, and I'll tell you what, we'll put it in the art fund. It'll appreciate. Uh, right? Good, good idea. Right? Good. Aesthetically. Good. Aesthetically. It'll appreciate aesthetically over time. All right, next. Christian, how do you spell blue chip? R U S C H A. Ed Rache. Andrew Shea. New work by Andrew Shea. New paintings, as a matter of fact. Paintings. Paintings? Yeah. Bleach things. Bleach things. Okay, well, Bleach it's things. a reverse form of painting, yeah. If you're going to buy a Rouché, yeah. I think you want a great Rouché from the classic period. I mean, it's fine that he's repeating himself endlessly. I would rather have a 1987 oh. Rouché, but I'll take this any yeah, day. This right. would be nice for the bathroom. <laughs> And then we could have <laughs> be, a serious be, picture for a serious room. Can't believe I'm saying that. There's an aspect to the to the paintings in particular uh, that are a bit Magritian. You're not quite sure if this is, Ooh, a, is that an insult? Or no, no, no. It's a, it's a compliment. Is it a pipe or is it not a pipe? Right. Is it a painting? Is it not a painting? Right. That's something that Rouché pioneered. Yeah. Which is why the work is so important. Uh, and important for billionaires, this is, with gross wealth yes, comes great responsibility. Indeed. We have a responsibility we, to buy wealth. This is the kind of work I think a responsible billionaire would essentially sort of house, so, steward into proper institutions and museums. Ruche does not need our help even as billionaires. No, we so, should, we should but, probably look for somebody who probably could use our money has a greater need for our money. That yeah. wouldn't be a bad thing. And you know what? You can always bargain those people down. That's the thing. They're desperate. You can bargain them down. Tara Walker. One of the best black artists. Yeah. One of the best in artists, the world. period. Yes, of course. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, importantly, black, because the work's, of course, about well, yes. race. Yeah, I mean, essentially. It's not irrelevant that she's black. Yes. The experience she's basically sort of describing throughout her entire move is that great crime that America perpetrated slavery. slavery. So this is a, a piece from 1994. 1994, yeah? she's fresh minted MFA. She has a show at the Drawing Center that's and right. explodes. And explodes, that's explodes right. Explodes to the point where we billionaires sort of have to buy her work. She matters. She is, in a weird way, the beginning of the art of our time, I would say. And she does it with an economy of means, which is always impressive. Yeah. There's more typical this extravagant. Is, this is for the house. There's no simple take home message. People act as though there is. They act as though slavery is bad. Right. We all know that. Right. But actually, they're really messed up things. 
right? Well, they also sort of make you properly uncomfortable. They're not essentially made to, uh, they're not made to assuage that, oh, slavery, what a terrible thing. She gets us laughing and then we feel bad about laughing. It's a complicated It's a very business. complicated response. Yeah. And, 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 I, and I think that's part of what makes it great art. So, we take this one, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Really? Can we can we carry it away? Will they wrap uh, it for us? Can we get a gift wrap? <laughs> Let's get a gift wrap for the big. Oh, but black paper with the white bow. That's right. Next one.